To my right here, I have uh, a dear friend. I met you just the other day, but I seem like I, I've known you forever. And pronounce Sofagitas. What kind of last name is that? Okay. My last name is Greek. It's Greek. Okay, that's where, that's where that comes from. And I call her. I said if I can call you Chloe, and she said that's fine. Um, Chloe had a, a we we met at I guess uh, an evening at the IHOP, and we just started talking about what what's in your life and what your commitment is, and and you shared me shared with me some information, and as I went onto the website, which you can see there, www.freeramsey.com. There's a lot of information there about Ramsey uh, Muniz, who ran in the 70s, 70, 1970, and I believe 72, at the young age of 30 and 32. He ran for governor, did he not? And that was the first opportunity, I believe, or first, first time that Hispanic had run for governor, is that right? In our modern times, yes. In our modern times. And I was reading to some of his literature, and he said that, you know, uh, there, of course, we've always had the Democratic and the Republican Party, but the Democrats, he ran under the La Raza Unida yes. Party, is that right? That's and then he, mo- he mobilized a lot of voters and a lot of interested uh, leaders within the Hispanic community in the in the South Texas, right, Val? Yes, that's correct. And Ramsey's originally, what, from Corpus, Corpus, Corpus Christi? Corpus Christi. And uh, so he started his political career early. Yes. Yeah, after uh, going to Baylor University on, on a football scholarship, is that right? That that is true. However, even before he finished college, mm-hmm. Ramsey already knew that he needed to help our people. Okay. And uh, he was he was under he received his law degree. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, could uh, Chloe, your main. Um, participation right now with the uh, freeramsey.com and uh, what's going on with with that situation your main uh, focus right now is the national committee to free Ramsey Muniz is that right that's true I know Marcus was here earlier with us and he goes oh he says they've gone on the national level because Mr. Muniz has, has been incarcerated now for a number of years what 17 17 years yes yeah and very wrongfully Tell us a little bit about the National Committee. Well, um, right now we have a petition, as we have since last year, um, to transfer Ramsey from Beaumont, Texas, to Mm -hmm. Three Rivers, which Three Rivers is the facility Mm -hmm. where he, where his first legal orders Mm -hmm. were to be sent to okay and three rivers is is where his family is is that right um most of our family is from corpus christi and three rivers is close it's to closer there, there. Okay. you brought here she brought here i guess we can get a close-up on this this is the original petition signed by judge uh paul brown oh, wow. and in this petition uh he basically uh, said that ramsey was to be uh placed in three rivers facility yes that's correct but there was a deviation from there? There was a deviation for uh, 15 years, and it wasn't until two years ago that Congressman Lloyd Doggett um, helped us to bring him back to Three Rivers, but he didn't stay there long. Um, it wasn't long before that that they moved him during the night to Beaumont. Okay. And he's been traveling around. Uh, he's. They have moved him all over the country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was in Three Rivers, but now they've placed him back uh, on medical? Uh, um, on false pretense, they have said that he has to be in Beaumont, when actually Ramsey Muniz doesn't take any kind of medication whatsoever. Okay. Uh, back to the National Committee. If uh, someone wanted some more information, they may call 409-363-1878, 409 363 or email imuniz1310 at earthlink.net. Now, uh, Irma is uh, Ramsey's wife, is that right? Yes. And she's heading the National Committee on um, on um, on Ramsey Muniz. And what what exactly, I know I think I read uh, the National Committee has a, 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 a letter being sent to Obama, is that right? Yes, we and, and they're requesting? We have even asked for a, a, a pardon for mm-hmm. Ramsey Muniz, um, well, we n- none of us have ever received any communication yet from President Obama. Okay. So we we uh, what 
we really are asking for now is for our, our viewers to write to Congressman Doggett or to Senator Cornyn, uh, John Cornyn, you know, to help us to move Ramsey back to Three Rivers, and then we can take it from there all over again. But um, okay. it's been a long time to, to coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have you also brought a letter that was sent to the U.S. Department of Justice, and it's dated January first, twenty eleven. And and what, Chloe? What was this letter about? That letter was actually uh, for the pardon for for Ramiro Ramsey Muniz. Um, but the thing is, I, I no one signed it to me. Mm -hmm. I have nobody else to correspond to. And then when I would call them they would tell me that they, there was just nothing they could do. Mm -hmm. You can see there's no signature there. There's no way for, for them to be. And this is as recent as January. January. Mm -hmm. uh, I was reading again some of the literature. Uh, Ramsey's, Ramsey's been put, I think it said something like three years in solitary confinement. Do you know <laughs> what's that about? Or? All, all that we could we could gather, quite honestly, was that you know, that definitely concluded to us that he is a American a political prisoner, a Mexican-American Hispanic political prisoner because mm -hmm. um, everything has been uh, avoided into him having his day in court. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if, if the viewer can please go to freeramsey.com, we have more information in mm -hmm. there. We have the the legal papers that are in there too. Um, mm -hmm. And so he's basically a political prisoner in the prisons of America. Yes, he is, and it's very important uh, for Americans to know that that exists in our country. Mm -hmm. It isn't just Ramsey Muniz that is an American political prisoner. She also, uh, Chloe also bought some pictures here, and uh, I want to, because not only it seems like he's been in confinement, solitary confinement, there have been times in which the family cannot see him. Is we right? were not able to communicate whatsoever for many, many months. And, you know, we would call up there and they just couldn't tell us anything. Uh, during his time of incarceration, uh, Ramsey was real sick too, where we almost lost him. Mm -hmm. He lost over 70 pounds. And he didn't have his dentures, so he couldn't eat either. They mm -hmm. even withdrew from giving him his dentures so that he could eat. Wow. And again, it's the National Committee to Free Ramsey Muniz. And uh, the if you go to the website there, you can uh, get a lot of information about, about Ramsey. And I think back, a, he's doing... Um, what is this called? Friends of Justice that has just been evolved out of some of his um, friends have gotten together. And, and this is basically uh, a way that people can get uh, letters and uh, he, he'll be writing different articles in which people can get information on how he's doing it and possibly even communicate with him. And so this was uh, brought out as recent as um, uh, Easter. So, yeah, this yeah. past Easter, and in, in fact, yes, he puts out writings around the holy days that we know here in our country and elsewhere. But he he continues to celebrate, you know, his religious ethics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I I want to just go ahead, uh, Chloe, if you want to share. Well, I I wanted to share this with the viewers. Is that Ramsey says, "Where are you, Hermosa Raza?" Si han olvidado de mí? He says, for me to read this to our people. Go ahead. Hermana Mexicana, I wish you a most profound and powerful new year. There is something in the air. It is hard for me to explain the inner feelings in my heart that I am experiencing about the changes and the upcoming struggle for our people. Our time has come. Remember me. There is a very conservative trend in this country because they know that Mexicanos, Hispanics, Latinos, Chiquin, Chicanos, Mexicas, we're all getting ready to rise. Enough is enough. First they took our land and now they wish to take our pride, our spirituality, our freedom, our love, and the desire to live in the manner God created us free. 
Do not worry about me, for I only become most powerful and profound spiritually every day. I miss you. I love you. Que viva mi raza and exile Ramsey. And this is a picture here of the Virgen de Guadalupe that you painted for Ramsey. Is that right? Yes, I painted that for him, and I sent it to him. And he most appreciates correspondence from from all of us. Okay. Again, we don't have, uh, unfortunately, we don't have enough time to really go into the injustice that Mr. Ramsey has gone through for the past 17 years. I want to put out that he is in prison for his for life prison without any possibility for parole uh ramsey i feel needs the community needs esta gente la raza and uh, go to that website there's an opportunity for you to learn more about ramsey uh, to have a an ongoing dialogue with him i know his wife is out there and and people such as yourself, Chloe, that that really want to put me Ramsey's message out about what's going on. And so this will be an opportunity for you to have dialogue with Ramsey. I want to thank you, Chloe, for being with us today. Too. I know you have many, many stories about Ramsey. Okay. But I'd like to leave it up to the audience to go and, mm -hmm. and go to that website and, and get to know about Ramsey and his fate and how he's out there. Just like he said during Easter, he feels like he's been crucified just as Jesus Christ